Hi everyone, let's discuss agrobacterium mediated gene transfer. This is an important area for CSAR. You can check the previous year question papers. There you can see questions based on this area. Agrobacterium mediated gene transfer. Here, as the name indicates, we can understand gene is transferred from a bacterium into a plant. That is agrobacterium mediated gene transfer. Agrobacterium tumefaciens is a phytopathogen. As a normal part of its life cycle, it can genetically transform plant cells. And this genetic transformation leads to the formation of crown gall disease. It is a plant tumor. This crown gall tissue represents true oncogenic transformation. That means the undifferentiated callus from crown gall tissue can be cultivated in vitro even if the bacteria are killed with antibiotics because this tissue, this crown gall tissue retains tumorous properties. These properties include the ability to form tumor when grafted into a healthy plant, the capacity for unlimited growth as a callus in tissue culture even in the absence of phytohormones and it can synthesize opines. These are unusual amino acid derivatives not found in normal plant tissue. There are two types of opines, octopin and nopalin. Here, the agrobacterium tumefaciens determines which opines to be synthesized. Agrobacterium tumefaciens that can utilize octopin induce tumors synthesize octopin. And agrobacterium tumefaciens if they utilize nopalin induce tumors that synthesize nopalin. And these opines utilized by agrobacterium tumefaciens. This bacteria can catabolize and use as its sole carbon and nitrogen source. The most important thing is the crown gall disease can also be induced in plants by inoculation of wound sites with agrobacterium tumefaciens. Now we can look the mechanisms behind it. The initial step in the infection process is the attachment of agrobacterium tumefaciens to a plant cell where at the site of an open wound, often at the base of the stem, especially the crown, the crown of the plant. That's why it is known as crown gall disease. Then this agrobacterium tumefaciens produces a network of cellulose fibrils that binds the bacterium tightly to the plant cell surface. And the wounded plant produces some phenolic compounds. What are they? Acetosyringone and hydroxyacetosyringone. These are phenolic compounds and agrobacterium tumefaciens respond to this fa plant phenolic compounds. How it induces these plant phenolic compounds induces virulence genes that are carried on the TI plasmid. TI plasmid means tumor inducing plasmid found only in virulent agrobacterium strains. The product of the vir genes are essential for the gene transfer and integration of tDNA region into the genome of plant cell. tDNA is the transfer DNA that we can study later. What is TI plasmid? We know that virulent bacteria contain plasmids. Here, here also agrobacterium tumefaciens harbor large plasmids. The ability to use and synthesis of opines are plasmid bond trait. And this plasmid is known as tumor inducing plasmid. Its size is between 140 to 235 kilo base pair. And what is tDNA? How the crown gall is formed? 
a specific segment of bacterial plasmic DNA that is known as tDNA, transferred DNA, is transferred and integrated into the plant cell genome. The tDNA is actually a part of tumor inducing plasmid, a short segment of DNA that is tDNA. It is a specific segment of the TI plasmid, about 23 kilobase pair in size. Observe this figure. It is the schematic representation of TI plasmid. The top portion is tDNA. It contains left and right border. These are 25 base pair imperfect direct repeats, known as border sequences. The border sequences are not transferred intact into the plant genome but they are involved in the transfer process. The deletion of the right border repeat abolish tDNA transfer, but the left hand border repeat appears to be non-essential. So if we delete the right border repeat, what happens? No tDNA transfer. Hence the right border repeat is also known as overdrive sequence. In this figure, you can also see tDNA region containing genes for auxin, cytokinin, and opines biosynthesis. IAAM and IAAH for the biosynthesis of auxin and fMR genes for the biosynthesis of cytokinin. And these genes Genes for auxin, cytokinin, and opines biosynthesis are transcribed and translated only in plant cells. In this figure, you can see outside the tDNA region, there is a cluster of virulence genes. And you can also see opine ca catabolism region. Those are genes that encode an enzymes for opine catabolism. Then it contains a origin of DNA replication that permits the plasmid to be stably maintained in agrobacterium tumefaciens. Next video we can study about virulence genes. So wait for the next video. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you.